good morning. Today I'm visiting with Gazelle and she is solo camping in a Ram Probemaster 1500. Gazelle, tell us about yourself and how you got started. Well, like a lot of women that are out here, solo van dwellers, um, my first reason was because I needed to travel. I couldn't find myself confined at this stage of my life in an apartment. It was very expensive. And I just want to see the country, you know, before I start going out of the country to venture. There are many beautiful sites here that I have yet to see. So, so far it hasn't disappointed me. Hasn't disappointed you? You yeah. haven't had any trouble <laughs> traveling alone? No. No. Uh, would you recommend it to anybody else? This is not an easy lifestyle. It's romanticized on Pinterest and you know Instagram. Uh, it's not easy by far. I mean, a lot of people are used to turning that faucet on, the water comes out. You have to fetch the water. Um, as far as electricity, if you don't put it into your cargo van, you literally have to count on lanterns, loosey loos, or battery operated. So you're eliminating the middleman, which means more work for you. So you have to take a lot of that into account. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this since March of this year. March of this year? You're fairly new. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, and from our conversations, it seems like you have a lot of experience or a lot of knowledge that I guess you acquired from my favorite university, YouTube. Well, that, as far as the build-out, yes, mm -hmm. uh, but I've been nomadic most of my life. You know? oh, okay, yeah. okay. So sure. this is, I, I, there was not much of an impact. I, I settled into it very easily, too easy. And, um, yeah, this is like second nature now. Great. Yeah. It's good to hear that. Mm -hmm. and, and I see more women doing this, and it's like, uh, I have great admiration for that because it takes a lot of... Uh, intestinal fortitude to step forward to do this and of course everybody always worries about the the, the negatives you know what's going to happen here what is that etc and they don't do well on the positive right. Mm -hmm. right and our experience is we've met some great wonderful people and hopefully we'll meet more absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, anything else you want to add on that well as far as the negative part, there's, ne there's a positive and negative to everything, every aspect. That's where the balance lies. And, um, you know, yeah, you're going to have, you know, I've, I've met tweakers on the road. Yes, I've met homeless men on the road. Tweakers. And tweakers are meth heads. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. And let me tell you, nice folks, but unfortunately they're addicted. Um, but if I go into a campground, and I see it's a little dicey. The beauty of this is it has reverse, drive, go. And, I, and I'll just, if it's, you know, if it's at all possible, I'll park by a cracker barrel and try again the next day. Well, so. I have to remember reverse. My, my <laughs> idea is to go forward with the pedal to the metal. <laughs> I know. I know. Sometimes, you, you know, you got to do the reverse. But, okay. yeah, you just have to use a lot of common sense and gut. Trust your gut. Mm -hmm. Oh. Would you, would you care to show us your van? Absolutely. Not a problem. Okay, come on, Shasta. Let's go. Up, up. Come on. Come on, Shasta. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Up. Go what? Good girl. Okay. Mm. All right. You, you can see who's a star in this van. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shasta. She is my loyal companion, and I wouldn't have it any other way. This is my very small home, but it's home. Um, this is a Ram Promaster 118, 118 uh, wheelbase, so it's very small. And, uh, and I've made it home. I have my twin-size bed here up against, and it fits me to the teeth. Um, I have, you know, the fairy lights. It lights up pretty strong at night. Um, I love the look of wood, but I didn't want the weight. So, of course, I'm a YouTuber. I did this peel and stick paper against the, um, against Reflectix. 
the ceiling is insulated the floor is partially insulated I didn't want to be in a hot box okay and then let me just put this here and then we have the galley and got my my nifty um, water two gallon water that's my sink this is the stove I use it's a butane stove let me get the dog bowls out of here there's a butane stove it's light and easy to use I just go ahead pop it out pop in a new can and it's done it's good to go um, all of this I made none of this there's no nails in here at all and you did this all yourself I did this all myself um, how long did it take you it took me a month you're faster than I am <laughs> This is from crates that I bought at Wally World, and I tore them apart, and I just did small little, you know, uh, shelves. And I have my coffee, sugar, I have my teas, my instant iced teas, little things that I need to have to be able to reach for. All of this is food, condiments, spices, rice, pasta, and I have my pots and pan, I have my trusty cast iron, and I have my my knives here and you know whatever else plates forks and, um, and then the plain division that I did here is to the bed and this is the dividing spot toiletries my bed underneath I have my clothes I have bins so I have my jeans I have um, t-shirts undergarments I have my bathroom here um, and my floor the trusty Home Depot it was remnant and I just laid it out as far as refrigeration I have a Coleman extreme 54 I think it's 54 gallon 54 quart and it, it works for me it, you know the, the ice will last anywhere from four to five days buy ice put it in well most importantly it works for you the most important part. Absolutely. And, um, it works for me. It works for you. Mm -hmm. And you did it yourself, so it shows that it is possible to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I have no electrical work done at all. These bat these all these lights that I have around are battery operated, and I preferred it that way because I'd rather have a licensed electrician come in and do the work for me. It's just a pet peeve that I have. Um, I just rather have it that way, but so far, knock on wood, it's worked. It's worked. And I have no complaints. I mean, this is home. It's, I feel safe here. I feel comfortable here. Yeah. And this I hope is you it. like your neighbors. I do. I do. I've, I've had many, and I love it. I've had many a great neighbors, more than I can say when I lived in the sticks and bricks. <laughs> you know? So it's been, it's an adventure, and I'm really looking for, forward to many new adventures. Okay, and this is my garage. Um, it's pretty, it's forward. Um, on each side, before I, I go any further, the insulation also went to the back doors. What I noticed, because I kept it so simple, as I'm living in it, I'm learning what I need. I stop my travels and I put it in. This is all insulation. I wanted to make it pretty, and it works. It really keeps, you know, the heat in. Uh, it keeps the draft out. So this is insulated, which are the vents for the electrical system. All of that has been insulated. This is the garage, and I keep the bungee because there's so much wind here. Okay, flip it out. So here I have my little, I know you've seen a lot of people do this. This is just go-to, because if I need something in a hurry, my scissors, my scissors uh, plumbing tape, uh, gloves, bungee cords, you know, the things that are necessary and I need to have on hand. This is all of my, this is the fuel for the stove. And then here I have extra warm clothes. And on the other bin, I have all of my jackets for the winter. 
this is my my tent that I use for showering when I'm in a campsite that allows it. And I have my water back here. I have my Mr. Buddy heater back here. And, um, and I have my toolbox all the way in the back. I plan to get more tools because as, like I said, as I go along, I add and I take away as I need it. But everything, the insulation up here is covered with denim. Um, denim is wonderful. It really just keeps everything, and it keeps it safe. It doesn't let off any toxins. So, and of course, we have to have armor all to make her look pretty. But I have my chairs here, and over here, I don't know if you noticed before, I do have a closet inside. And this is where I keep all of my vests and my blouses and what have you. And that's pretty much it. Fourth thing to mention is this van has been kept very stealthy. There's no features on the top, on the roof, anywhere. It's uh, just total stealth.